Gemini is also natively multimodal, having been trained directly on text, images, and video, so it won't need plugins to interact with those formats. However, Gemini's very impressive multimodal demo, showing it responding in real time to spoken prompts, has turned out to be staged. A Google spokesperson <laughs> told Bloomberg that the model was prompted with still images and text. Gemini Pro is now powering Google's Bard chatbot. Ultra will replace it sometime next year. So can I just say that I just assume that any demo that Google does with Assistant and natural interaction is complete bullshit ever since they... Man, yes. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think when I completely lost any faith that it would be anything like the product that actually exists on my phone. Um, the appointment one came across particularly egregious, like imagining for a second <clears throat> that like it was going to be able, like, uh, maybe your calendar and I don't know, maybe, maybe this is just a me problem, but is anyone's calendar so simple that it is actually faster for you to say, call and book an appointment at this time and there will be no back and forth? And there will be no complications if that time is not immediately available at the place that they called. Like, I just, I'm looking at it going, well, yeah, what if that time's not available? And so what? My AI is now playing messenger with me about what other times. Like, I don't put absolutely everything. Are you guys all so conscientious? You put absolutely everything from every waking moment of your day into your Google calendar? Like, I just, uh, how? I just don't really understand. Um... Oh yeah. Okay. So the the um, the thing that it lost on was common sense multiple choice questions. Oh, okay. Which I think is like that's kind of key if you're going to ask it questions. Yeah. Um, and then like the, that other one. That's we've talked about this a fair bit recently, just because AI has been in the news so much. But that that camera that you were just supposed to like put places, and it was supposed to AI take pictures of important things. And I was like, I watched that video. I'm like, how could how could anyone? possibly think that this is working at all and then it didn't work at all <clears throat> like yeah what what is even what is even surprising like i still can barely dial a phone number yeah the gemini demo like as i was watching it i was like this is not like obviously no yeah and to be clear i didn't, I didn't know that it wasn't video camera picked up mm -hmm. but i was like yeah, it's not real time obviously this is produced, this is staged. Um, e even if it is real time, these would be questions that it was like heavily pre-trained on specifically. Like for some reason, Gemini is really good at detecting ducks or something. Like it's, it yeah, they would have played into it, of course. Why wouldn't they, to be completely honest? I don't know. All they right, did well, it a little bit more than I expected, but like, So to be yeah. clear, this is still stupid and Google shouldn't do it, but I just don't know why anyone is surprised at this point. And if Google ever wants to change this reputation, they're going to have to start presenting realistic demos. Who are they, who are they demonstrating to? Cause right now it just feels like they're demonstrating to shareholders and they're trying to, trying to like, we're not falling behind guys trying to sneak one. Yeah. They're trying to slip one by and go, no, no, it's like, it's really, really good. Google's still cool. And there's some arguments to make there. Don't like just close companies down. If everyone, <laughs> If everyone else is, you know, playing the same smoke and mirrors game, then yeah, in fairness, I guess Google, you know, can't appear to to, to Wall Street like they're falling behind or, or whatever. <coughs> but like at some point, aren't they all going to get in trouble for misleading investors? Like maybe they should just take the take the high road. Just an idea. Free of charge, Google. Handyman says stock was up 5% yesterday. Yeah. See, this is like, yeah. Yeah. Uh. But, I mean, the news yesterday, a lot of people were massively overreacting in a positive way to Gemini. It's like, oh my god, Google is back. Google stomped on OpenAI. And it's just, they just watched the video and fell for it. I mean, which is going to become a much bigger problem in the era of AI stuff. This is like people who saw Tesla's announcement that every shipping car starting today is going to be capable of full self-driving. And like, I remember I was talking to a, like a Tesla fan person in my life a little while back and I was like, they still believed it. And I was like, dude, why? How could you possibly believe that? If you knew anything about computers and what they do and how they work and how powerful they were with the technology we had at that time, even if Tesla's 
processor design, had them a full generation. Let's be generous. Let's say two generations of performance ahead of what anybody else was shipping. And when I say anybody else, I'm talking people who were actually serious about AI, not just randoms. Like I'm talking NVIDIA. If they were two generations ahead of, of NVIDIA, they were nowhere near f***ing close to being able to handle every edge case. And unless this thing can handle every edge case, why am I putting it in control of my car? And now, I don't, I don't know, now that this just send poop emojis to the press instead of <laughs> answering hard questions, um, I, I, I don't know if Tesla has ever acknowledged that hardware platform, whatever it was, is not going to be capable of their completely autonomous driving like they said it would. Like, how much are people gonna? How much are people gonna get for this class action? I don't know. Not enough, probably. Probably not enough. Yeah, it'll probably just all go to the lawyers as usual. I'm interested because, as Handyman is is saying, they are actually quite far behind on production because the the thing that they were trying to show off isn't even available yet, and won't be for a significant period of time. Are you talking about Google now? And yeah. and ChatGPT four was announced and in production a long time ago. At this point, in the scale of this AI stuff, yeah. it was a long time ago. So it's an interesting concept. Uh, Scar Glamour in Flowplane Chat said, uh, I was on a web call with Google over AI in my industry. It was literally two hours of, please God, know that Bard still exists. <laughs> Which sounds quite likely. I had... This is off topic, but I'm going to vent about it anyways. I had a call with a company. I'm not going to give any more details than that, and I'm not going to give enough for you to guess because I don't think we'd get there. Uh, but I had a call with a company this Bethesda. week. Bethesda. No. Uh, I had a call with a company this week where we had to renew a contract. Boston Pizza. And their email was like, we need to set up a call because we need to renew our contract. Neopets. And I was like, okay, sounds good. Uh, we sit on the call. Near the end of the call... And like it really feels like we're wrapping up. We're going through the standard rigmarole. Here's your new customer success manager. Here's your new this person. Here's your new this person. Here's your new because you get new ones every time because people are moving through the company and they're like, I'll be with you moving forward. And I'm like, sure, because I'll see a new one on the next call. Sounds good. <laughs> um, but whatever. Um, but near the end of the call i'm like hey we're finally going to get to the contract portion and the main person running the call is like all right now we'll we'll book the next call so we can do the uh, the contract and i'm like what <laughs> uh, and they're like yeah I think I know who this is. We, we can talk about this other stuff first and i was like nah let's just book that and i'm gonna get out of here <laughs> like what's what's happening this call was to renew the contract no Really? Different company starts the same letter. That is exactly how all of those calls go, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so it wasn't them, but... Okay, so it was a good yeah. guess, at least. Yes, it was. All yeah. right. <sighs> it's so annoying. Just, I like, I don't care. Just email me my list of currently updated contacts. Can you tell he's not a people person? <laughs> It's like you are a number to me, <laughs> but like it's it's you not, are a number in a revolving door. <laughs> That's the problem. I couldn't care less. If it was actually the same yes. person all the time, then fine. But we get assigned these people yeah. in these roles. We get new people. No, I hear every you. six to twelve months. Like I, I had no problem building. We don't even have problems that often. I had no problem building relationships with people back when I back when I was a buyer. Like yeah. I actually had to handle you know like. Uh, maintaining relationships with people, which is not something that is my specialty. In fact, one of the core, one of the core philosophies of Linus Media Group, or one of the, one of the foundational sort of, um, I don't know, plans, let's call it a plan, was that I would just be so product driven that whether people liked me or didn't like me or had heard of me before or whatever, the product would be so good that it wouldn't really matter what they thought of me personally, they would just engage with us because it's a good product. And, and it's, you know what, it's not actually a terrible way to go about running a business. It's not the best way, you know, going back to the whole conflict of interest and like, you know, backroom deals and inbred industries and all of that, that that's, that's a way to get ahead a lot faster, but build a great product and they will come is also tried and true. And, um, the reason for that was because I'm not really a people person. I, 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 I talk a good game, but I'm actually on my own time, not, 
I've worked hard at it, but I used to be very awkward, um, especially in groups. I could be very shy. Um, I, I I think this is one of those things where like uh, Mr. Beast is kind of like my spirit animal because he's the same way on camera. <clears throat> he's like the most outgoing guy ever. But you you talk to him. He he would much rather talk to people one on one than be with uh, with an enormous group. It's Absolutely. one of those things where he's been yeah. a lot of YouTubers that I've met are like that. Where people who got to the point where large groups of people wanted to hang out with us by sitting in a room by ourselves talking to a camera. And so it's one of those things where I'm always kind of blown away when I meet other uh, particularly successful YouTubers and I go, holy crap, we're just cut from the same cloth, like all of us. And it's because we all started out at least in the at least in the old days, right? Like nowadays, people w aspire to be YouTubers, but that's not really how it started. Um, so whenever whenever I meet OGs, it's like, yeah, because you're like me because you started out just like with this being your way of talking to the world. This was kind of the only way you could do it. <laughs> um, anyway, I forget where I started with this. Um, what am I talking about? Something. This happens. Nobody no knows idea. anymore. No. Help me out, float plane chat. Um, what was the point of this? I derailed us from Gemini. Yeah, that doesn't help me. I started I, talking Luke about a people person. Oh yeah, right. I'm not a people person. Right, 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 right. Thanks, Dan. I knew you were here for a reason. No, he's doing great. Um, I'm so, just a number to so Luke that was anyway. that was the key. <laughs> But back when I was at NCIX, I had to do it. I had to do the whole schmooze thing. I had to like go to parties at CES and, you know, sit there awkwardly while other people drank alcohol because I don't drink. That one sucks. It, yeah. It's a, it, you know what? I don't even find that it sucks anymore. I'm just like kind of over it because um, it's it's the tech industry. Like some people get like really wasted and uncomfortable and weird. Yeah. But most don't. Most it's don't the, mostly a bunch of geeks. The which only is great. thing that bugs me is the insistence that you must also partake. It's like relax. Yeah, I just started using the allergy excuse for alcohol too. Yeah. Yeah. So That's yeah. Good. Yeah. I just I break out in a rash. You wouldn't like to see it, and yeah. and you especially wouldn't like to see it because it's on my ass, <laughs> and I'll have to show you. Like you can you, you can shut it down with humor, right? Yeah, yeah. And but these are like coping strategies, right? This is that's not the kind of thing that comes naturally to me. Um, I've heard now in our age bracket, the fun one is to just say that you're sober. Or you're uh, recovering. Yeah. 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 I, I've had that one suggested to me. <laughs> the problem is that then people ask you about your journey. Oh, yeah, me too. And, oh, and no. I, yeah. Oh, no. And then you're outed. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I just don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah. I've I, never used it. but I, I used to do the whole, like, you know, relationship building with reps thing. And I don't mind it when people actually stick around like some yes, some of some yeah, of my absolutely. OG contacts in the industry you know like love love cliff from MSI or whatever right yep. but they're the people that you know the company manages apparently to to treat well enough to keep them in that position they're the people that are passionate about what they do that they want to stay in that position um my thing is like it's just such a revolving door and that it can it's, be. It's most common that I've never even, like I was introduced to this person. We never talked again. We never emailed back yes. and forth. And then I'm introduced to a new person. And I'm like, okay, and this is the only time I'm ever going to interact. And with those you. ones, I would get a hard time sometimes about like not going out for dinner with them. And I'm just, I'm sitting here going, these guys reassign me a new rep every six months. Yeah. Why bother? Yeah. I would actually rather just enjoy a meal in peace. Yeah. Like put on a TV show on my phone, put in my headphones and sit and eat and get some peace and quiet because I've worked enough today. And I don't consider the social aspect of work to be social. I consider it to be work. Um, yeah. And that doesn't mean it can never be fun. It can be fun and it can be something that I would prefer to do. And I mean, it can even be social, especially these days. But back when it was like, almost exclusively hanging out with people two to three times my age, it was a little bit more of a stretch. Like, I don't mind hanging out with LMG people. I don't necessarily consider that to be work. I actually do it because I like it. Sometimes I uh, don't get to do it, and I wish I was doing it. Like, the writer writing department has our, um, has our quarterly, our quarterly get-together tonight. They always book it on Friday, those f***s. <laughs> I can somehow never make it, because <laughs> I'm somewhere guys um but anyway 
back then I definitely had a very, very different take on it. And I just wanted LMG to be all about focus on the product and people will have to kind of, they'll email me. Um, sometimes it happens by accident though. Like, you know, D brand, for example, we have, I, I would consider, you know, I have, I have friends at D brand, you know, it's, it's, it's not just like transactional, you know, here is sticker. Thanks. Give money. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. What else are we talking about? Uh, okay. Sorry. I'm dealing with something. What are you even, are you even doing over there? He's, I'm he's trying here. to figure something out. He's, he's present. He's, if it helps at all, Emma, he's just as here as he is with you. <laughs> I'm doing actual work. <laughs> I'm doing actual work. What does that even mean? What kind of thing to say is that? You're saying I'm not here. I'm saying I'm doing work. Just, you know. Right. So he bailed yeah. on me just like he bailed on you. This is our oh only socialized time. Goodness. That's your fault. Don't even. Don't even. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs>